Hi, Mr. Collier back with a trinomial video and we are factoring trinomials. So if you look right here, we have a polynomial which has three terms. That's what makes it a trinomial. But this one's a little bit different from my last video. What I wanted you guys to notice is that this number in front of the x squared is called the leading coefficient. Now, it is not one. So what I have to do is we have to do the rainbow method. What I like to do is draw a rainbow. It's really just a curve. I draw it from the first number to the last number. So let me show you what that looks like. I draw a curve from the first number to the last number. And we're going to multiply them together. So what's 2 times 1? Well, that's easy. That's just 2. So that becomes my rainbow number. And I put my rainbow number on top of the rainbow. 2. So now, my multiplying number is going to be the rainbow number. So I'm going to make a little chart over here that says m over on the left side, a over on the right side. Now my multiplying number is 2. That's always going to be my rainbow number. So let me go ahead and put that under the m. I want to find two numbers that will multiply to 2, but also they have to add up to the middle number, which I'm going to underline, the 3. So we got to multiply to 2, add to 3. So what are two numbers do you think that will multiply to 2 and add to 3? Go ahead and think about it right now, and I'll go ahead and write them down. Two and one will work because they'll multiply to two and add to three. So these are the two numbers that I want to choose, and let me show you how I use these in this problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break up my middle term, this 3x right here. I'm going to break it up into my two numbers over here the 2 and the 1. But notice, these have to add up to the 3x, so I need x's at the ends of these. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to group the first term of the polynomial, this 2x squared, with this 2x. So let's see what that looks like when I write it down. I've got a 2x squared and a 2x. It's a positive 2x, so I'm going to go ahead and put a plus in between them. So I've grouped this term with this term down here. Now I want to do the next two terms, the 1x and the 1. Let me go ahead and put this with this. So let me go ahead and get another parentheses going. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the 1x with the 1 up here. All right, almost done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the greatest common factor out of both parentheses. The greatest common factor, the GCF, is what they have in common. So what do these two terms have in common right here? The 2x squared and the 2x. Well, they have a 2 in common. We can take that out. But also, notice that they have just one of the x's in common. This 2x squared has 2x's because of the exponent, and this x has 1x. So we know they have at least 1x in common. That's my GCF, 2x. So what's left once I take that out? I have an x left, so I'll write that right here. I have a plus in between them. And then, since I've already taken out the 2x, there's nothing left to put back in. But I'm going to put a 1 in as a placeholder. So that's how I break that apart. Now, let's go ahead and look at this next parentheses. What is the greatest common factor of this one? Well, notice this has a 1 out in front. This has a 1. So obviously, the GCF must be 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the 1. Let's go ahead and see what's left. I have an X left. So I write that right here. I have a plus in between them. And I have a 1 right here. And of course, I already took out the 1, so I'm going to put a placeholder 1 in its spot. Alright, so do you notice something interesting about this? Let me go ahead and switch up my colors. I'm going to go to red. Notice the parentheses are the exact same. This is what you want in every single type of these problems. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these parentheses that are the same and I'm going to merge them into one parentheses. So instead of having two factors with an x plus 1, 
I'm just going to have one factor with an x plus 1. Now we're almost done. Now I just put the 2x with the 1. And that goes on this side. Although it really doesn't matter which side you put it on. This 1 is positive, so I put a plus in between them. So is that how I factor this? Um, it's a little bit laborious, but as you can see, I like to call this the rainbow method. So let me go ahead and switch up my colors again. This is called the rainbow method. And that's how it's done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please go ahead and check out more videos on my channel and like and subscribe. Have a great day.